from the market. So uh, presently we have already uh, sponsored a company by five crores. Uh, you must be knowing it was in the papers recently, but the graphene semiconductors. And we are on a regular basis uh, ensuring that companies come up and, and they, uh, 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 there is a committee for the uh, selection of these companies and we are ensuring that there is no dearth in risk capital investment in small and medium scale ESDM companies in this area. The policy support when we talk about innovation, 35% uh, of the startups that are coming up in the country are situated in Karnataka presently. We want the share to go up to 50% and ensure, to ensure that we are ensuring that in the KESDM policy we have uh, uh, post-performance incentives for um, a company to file patents domestically as well as outside the country and up to uh, a lakh and five lakhs of reimbursement for the investment that they have made in filing these patents. We have presently with NASCOM uh, operated uh, successfully by uh, supporting 124 companies out of which almost 25% got funded in the NASCOM startup warehouse, uh, which is under the 10,000 startups uh, program. And very soon we are signing an MOU. The uh, situation has already been decided and it will be a 450 seater uh, plug and play space with an accelerator space and an IoT lab, which Motorola has themselves um, uh, decided to fund and five crores annually will be invested in such a startup warehouse which will be done in collaboration with uh, NASCOM. We have put in place an MOU with IAMAI for having a, uh, a mobile uh, a startup uh, to ensure that the uh, mobile, the next uh, revolution in mobile can be leveraged upon and the startup uh, community gets skilling as well as the uh, uh, technology uh, mentoring that is required for such startups. We have put in place something that is called the New Age Incubation Network, which ensures that uh, nine uh, of the TechWhip reported uh, uh, colleges outside Bangalore will be supported by four crores of investment annually to ensure that um, each of the colleges uh, select projects which are entrepreneurial in nature in their uh, penultimate and the last year of their colleges to ensure that entrepreneurship grows even outside Bangalore. And we have already supported two innovation centers, one in uh, IIIT Bangalore and one with the collaboration with STPI. They are already functional. This is to ensure that the small ESDM companies have the facility for testing, for prototyping, and for uh, the equipment, which is very expensive to set up in individual uh, uh, companies to set up, and therefore they can, uh, with a very small user charge, they can use these facilities. Talking about building, seven ESDM clusters have already been put in uh, on the anvil Two, one of them in Bangalore, one of them in Mysore, has already got uh, the green flag from Deity. Uh, 19 crores out of the 86 crore investment in Bangalore is coming from government of Karnataka, and 3.5 crores is coming for the Mysore cluster. There is a 50 acre greenfield cluster soon going to come up in the electronic city with association with Click and the greenfield cluster in Vasant Narsapura and a brownfield cluster in Pina are already uh, uh, finalized. We are getting the DPRs finalized to be presenting it to government of India and ensuring that we get those approvals as well. And these facilities will ensure that there is rapid prototyping facility, uh, the PCB manufacturing, uh, proto-PCB ma manufacturing facilities available, environmental testing, calibration facilities, all in one common facilitation centers are uh, on the anvil to be set up for industries like you to be able to take, make productization stage for your company much easier. We are working a lot in the skilling sector and uh, we are amongst the first states uh, to have uh, ICT, Skill Development Society, uh, which is an independent society working under the Directorate of IT and Biotechnology. We were amongst the last of the six states to get the Government of India funding for this ESDM skilling. But anyway, anybody from DATI, if they're present here, they will vouch for us, saying that it was the first state to roll it out and ensure that the first skilling took place in our state. 
we have in uh, uh, in ideation stage but very soon to uh, approach government of india to have an ict academy of our own which uh, taking learning from the ict academy which has been set up in tamil nadu as well as in kerala we will be ensuring that the uh, private partnership is leveraged to its fullest we are talking about center of excellences to be put in place to ensure that the industry uh, has its buy in in the entire initiative and the skilling is taking place according to the needs of the industry and according uh, to the market demands as is one of the only states which is ensuring that the skilling is linked to uh, the market demand as well as the requirements of manpower and uh, all the other states are following suit in that initiative and we require the support of the industry to ensure that we join hands to ensure that the supply demand gap is uh, met um, amongst the market in incentives there are vat exemptions in place 95% of cst paid already by the company uh, is reimbursable 50% of the marketing spends by the industry in showcasing their products in conferences like this outside the country as well as inside the country is reimbursable so um, my request is to please visit stall number 1 and 2 uh, just outside uh, which is the kbit stall uh, either you can uh, uh, you know put in your details is a card we will reach out to you and ensure that if you are a karnataka esdm company we will ensure that you get registered and uh, you get all the incentives that are uh, available under the policy uh, Export incentives, I've already mentioned, we have uh, amongst the first state to set up the uh, promotion, uh, uh, the um, preferential market access. Government of India has recently rolled it out and uh, amongst the e-procurement uh, e policy of government of Karnataka, we will be soon ensuring that Karnataka ESDM companies will get preferential treatment for such uh, government procurements. We have set up the brand Bangalore Society, which will ensure that the marketing in, uh, initiatives that the various companies are taking can be clubbed together and we sell together to the international market as well as the national market, the brand of Bangalore and the, uh, the, uh, uh, the brand value of Bangalore can be leveraged to the maximum. Uh, talking about the Karsemven fund, um, I wanted to go a little bit in detail in this respect. It's a 100 crore fund, uh, uh, a 96.15 crore fund, out of which 25% has been invested by uh, Kbits. Sidbi has invested 10 crores in it, and uh, other banks have invested 5 crores each. Uh, the, the fund envisages to support ESDM companies up to uh, 2 to 10 percent of their working capital in the first uh, unit and ensuring that uh, there is uh, share taken in the company in the form of equity and preference shares and debentures and, uh, or, or the combination of, of the all. And uh, there is also a, a separate investment committee that has been set up. Unfortunately, I'm the chair, but Please take my word for it that all the other members are experienced investment. Um, uh, uh, they, they, they have operated their own private venture funds. And uh, uh, you'll be pleased to uh, find out that, uh, uh, that, that we are doing a very good job of it. Uh, uh, Camco is the investment management company, and they have experience in uh, uh, doing this success story in Kitwen 1 and Kitwen 2. I've already talked about skilling, so I'll skip this, uh, uh, this slide. And I would request that the, the industry stalwarts are speaking for themselves here in the testimonials. And I hope that you join the success story. I am very pleased and honored to be a part of this journey. And I welcome you all. Karnataka is open for business gentlemen and ladies. And I hope that you join the success story as well. Thank you so much.